Hey, what's going on guys? Good morning. It's David. It's uh, Monday morning and I wanted to uh, create a message really for everyone in the PUSH program. Uh, however, I'm, I'm choosing to share this um, broadly because I think it's a, a message that everyone needs to hear and it's really about tracking our numbers. So in the PUSH program, uh, Scott has put together uh, what we call the PUSH Lead Generation Tracker uh, where every day we should be tracking the hours that we're lead generating, number of calls made or doors knocked, uh, how many contacts you've made, how many appointments you've set, how many appointments you actually held, and then how many listings you took. And only one person has actually filled out the tracker and they haven't filled it out completely, but they have at least made the effort. And so it really just got me thinking, um, this weekend and what I had to do is really plug in into my real estate hat and, and think about the times when I didn't track my numbers, what kept me from tracking numbers. And, and, and pretty much the biggest thing was I didn't really want to see what was going on in my business because, you know, as Jay-Z says, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. And so when you start tracking your numbers and, and looking at your conversion, it's pretty telling. Um, just to give you an example, you know, I, I coach an agent who got three listings and I think that's a great, great accomplishment in the month to have three listings, right? And yet when you start looking at the numbers, they set up 10 appointments and out of those 10 appointments, they only got three listings. So what is that telling me? That tells me a couple of things aren't happening. Number one, they aren't pre-qualifying and that's something we, we also cover uh, in classes how to pre-qualify, what questions do you need to cover? If you're pre-qualifying, instead of going on 10 appointments, it probably will drop down to about five or six because there are gonna be some people who just aren't motivated, who aren't serious about getting their home sold, or you find out they want you to jump through so many hoops, you know, be there for every showing, they want their house in the New York Times, they want all these things done to get their property sold, you figure out pretty quickly, that's not a listing you're interested in taking, and let someone else have that and let someone else deal with that headache. And so pre-qualification wasn't happening at a high level. And as you guys know me, I'm gonna ask you, are you pre-qualifying? I'm gonna be very direct about it. And when I asked that question, head went down, the response was no. And I already knew that because the numbers tell the truth. Uh, the second thing is, most of us become real estate agents because we're independent contractors. You know, we've worked in corporate America or we work for a company and we want more flexibility. And we do have a lot of flexibility in real estate. The problem with that is as independent contractors, we don't have to report to anyone. We don't have any accountability. So we can kind of do our own thing. And when you don't have that accountability and someone tracking your numbers, it shows up. And so, what I would encourage you to do, I mean, if you're in push, you're gonna have accountability with me. So when we meet for class tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about your numbers. Uh, if you have not been reporting your numbers, we're gonna talk about why you're not reporting your numbers. It's not a competition. I don't want you to compare yourself to someone else. Someone else may have 15 appointments and 10 listings. You may have two appointments and one listings. That, that's okay. We're not comparing you to anyone else. These are goals you set up for yourself and all we want to do is make sure that you're meeting the standards that you created for yourself in order to create the income you need in real estate. So with that being said, this tracking sheet, you know, for push, this is unacceptable. And starting tomorrow, that's going to change and we're going to get this updated. If you're not in push and you are serious about doing well in real estate, start tracking your numbers. Do it every day. Do it every day this week and then do it every day next week. In the beginning, you're not gonna really get it, but at the end of two to three weeks of tracking your numbers, you will start to see where there is a deficit. You may find that you're not pre-qualifying enough. You may find that these sellers are listing with someone else. So either maybe you don't have a listing presentation that you've practiced and you know uh, that you're presenting to the seller, or maybe you just aren't great at overcoming objections and you're being outscripted by the seller. Whatever the situation is, the numbers will be very telling. And if we look at those numbers and help you improve on those areas, you'll start seeing an increase in your conversion. We can't help you if we don't know where you're having a deficit, where you're having a problem. So track your numbers. If you're in push, that's part of the program. 
you know, part of this program is for me to hold you guys accountable at a very high level. Um, expect me to do that starting tomorrow. So if you have not updated your tracker, do it today so that when we get in class tomorrow, the first 15 minutes of class is going to be going over your numbers uh, so that we can update our tracking board and get that over to Scott. You guys make it a great day. Um, as we say, uh, real estate is simple. It's not easy. In order to be successful and do well in this business, there's a lot of things that have to be done. The first being being accountable to someone, tracking your numbers, and treating this business like a true business, which means going to the office and making calls, which means getting out there and meeting people. We are in the lead generation business. We're in the people business. We have to meet people. We have to talk about selling homes, what's happening with the market. Listen, I digress. You guys get it. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.